Hey, what's up you guys? It's UB Fire and today we're going to be covering about update 1.1. This is very very huge information about 1.1. This is a FAQ on the devs and the link will always be down in the description, but sadly this is all in Chinese. But luckily, I have the translated notes on the right side of the screen, so feel free to read along with me. Going into the first question here, playing solo can be really lonely sometimes. Are we going to have more social features? Worry not, small new events are coming very very soon, as there will be a bunch of new social features in the upcoming big updates. Now that is pretty big because a lot of people were saying, you know, co-op isn't really, you know, a co-op. Uh, once you finish your resin or when you have no more resin, you're kind of basically done in co-op world. So that is pretty nice to hear. Can artifacts and weapons be locked? And what they said was, yes, in versions 1.1 update. Will there be a wiki index page for all monsters and stuff? A Genshin index feature is coming to 1.1 which contains info on all monsters and plant. Now that is super super helpful when finding the materials you need to ascend for your characters. That is going to be really really helpful. Will there be an item uh, to find chest and oculi? It's so hard trying to find the last ones. Devs, yes, in 1.1, an Oculi medallion device will be added and travelers can get it for free in a certain new feature. Uh, that's pretty cool how you can find the last Oculi because I have dealt with that before where I can't find the last Oculi. I had to go and backtrack every single Oculi that I have come across and this is going to be really nice. The only thing that they didn't really touch up on was the item to find chests. Remember in my last video, we were talking about the leaked items, which was the medallions and the compass, but they didn't say anything about the compass in here. So I'm really, really hoping that it is going to be an item that finds chests because finding chests is such a pain in the ass. Uh, next question here, hope there is a way to auto assume food and stuff, constantly opening inventory can be painful. If everything goes well, we should see this feature come in 1.1, only if you obtain a certain item. Now I'm guessing that certain item is that portable cooking pot. In my last video we talked, or not last video, but one of my videos, there was like a portable cooking pot it seemed like, so I'm pretty sure that is the item they're talking about. The camera sometimes is a bit finicky. I hate it whenever it switches to a super close up angle and I hope there is a way to lock the camera angle. What they said was we're working on a system setting that will enable travelers to decide whether or not if they want camera angle to auto switch camera angles. So for all those people who are like whenever they ulti it like randomly switches camera angles this might be the answer to your problem. I don't know, I never really had any problems with camera angles. When using a Hydro Mage with an Electro character, the electric charged damage seems incorrect. No matter the order of the reaction, the damage output is the same. We have realized this is an error due to our current system. We will be making a fix for 1.1, which will make the order of the Electro Charge matter. The damage will scale based on the finisher's stats. For an example given, first lightning, then water. Then the water will be based on the Hydro character's elemental mastery and vice versa. Let's talk characters. So let's say I'm playing Beidou, I use my E and the enemy is electrically charged. I switch to my Hydro character and when I get that electric charged, it will be based on the Hydro character's stats is basically what they're saying. To be honest guys, I kind of lost track of where I'm at on the left side, so we're just going to keep on reading on the right side. When enhancing, the extra EXP seems like a big waste. I don't like it. We're working on it. In the upcoming patches, the extra EXP will be refunded back as XP materials. No more worrying about the extra waste of the XP when enhancing. Oh my god. Yes, that is a problem that everybody is having where whenever you are maxing out a weapon or a character or a artifact, you are going to be losing some EXP if you do use your artifacts or whatever materials you're using it with. The only problem I have with this is, are you going to get some more back? For an example, you are upgrading a great tier 4 artifact. It is 15 levels in. You just need one more artifact to make it 16. 
and that grade for or the material that you're choosing to upgrade it is going to be a blue artifact that blue artifact is going to cost a lot more compared to some gray artifacts are we going to get the more back who knows when triggering overload on a grass field the damage can be lower than expected is that a bug the dev said that's because some reaction damage is triggered by the environment such as burning grass is the damage factor not only that but also environmental damage like electric charge water field etc in 1.1 the environmental damage will be correctly scaled by the world level so more environmental damage will be dealt if you have a higher world level and this can be applied to both travelers and enemies i never really had a problem with the environmental damage it's not like i used it to deal more damage and you know i i don't know about this one but Nonetheless, it seems like they're doing it. Nothing that I can do. Will there be a reporting system? The dev said, yes, they will be adding that in the upcoming patches. So you directly report other travelers and our dedicated staff will start looking into them and start making evaluations. Can dispatch characters on expeditions be used? In the upcoming patches, characters on expeditions can be deployed and played with at any time. That is... That is actually very nice. That's very, very nice. I, I always find myself uh, needing a character when they're on expeditions and I have to always end up canceling it even though I'm 14 hours in out of 20 hours and I just basically lost 14 hours of progress right there. Lisa's normal attack can only trigger reactions but no damage whatsoever if the distance is a bit longer. This is because when triggering overload or superconduct, the effect zone is incorrectly being set as in the radius of the current character. In other words, you have to be near the enemies if you want to deal damage. But worry not, we have seen other similar problems occur too, so we will fix this in a timely manner and release the update alongside 1.1 because we need to do more testing and tinkering. There's a lot more when it comes to questions like remapping keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, 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 I agree. We have plans and schedules laid out and we will keep posting more conference notes like this in the future. So subscribe to the forum for more information. Thank you to every traveler's support in Genshin Impact. We will see you in the next one. Peace. Guys, this is a buttload of information on the update 1.1 and this is just update 1.1. Oh my God. So many new changes are going to be happening. So many new features especially the exp and finding the oculus it's just going to make our lives much much more easier the only thing that i am uh really invested into aside from that is probably the item to find chest because chest is a huge huge factor when leveling up your ar and it gets to a point where you're gonna have to start treasure hunting and you just can't find them out in the open you're gonna have to search high and low for these chests just to find 20 exp so if that compass item is actually to find chest i'd be pretty happy but remember guys the next update is going to be on supposedly the november 11th which is next month so you guys only have 30 almost 30 days left it, it is the 9th right now the when i'm recording so you guys barely have any 30 days what i suggest is you don't have to rush your ar i just think you just need to farm materials that's all um so take it slow on the ar you don't have to rush anything uh i think i think you should just be gathering as much materials as you can and enjoy the game but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one have a good morning have a good evening and have a good night peace